I think the myth about uh, drinking and, and drugs adding to the creativity, you know, I think that most, my experience has been, especially now that I've been sober for as long as I have, that most alcoholics are well-intentioned people. I never woke up in the morning and said, I'm gonna cheat on my girlfriend today and I'm gonna crash my car and I'm gonna call my grandmother at two in the morning drunk dialing and I'm gonna steal stuff from my mom so I can get some drugs and then I'm gonna, but I did it every day when I you know, became that drug addict, as you know, you know. You never woke up and were really okay with those things, but you did them because you had to. You know? And it's because most people I know were drug addicts, especially creative people, were drug addicts and, and drunks for so long, you just don't know how to do it sober. And that's really the thing. It's just like, but I also didn't know how to have you know, a date sober. I didn't know how to go to the market sober or be lonely sober or celebrate sober. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. And, and to learn, you know, hey, here's a new hammer. Here's a new thing. Here's a new way to, you know, be creative and express yourself with, and, and walking through the fear. And, and, and the self-esteem that comes from being able to walk through the fear of your inhibitions and getting past that and growing as a person as a result of having walked through the fear of, you know, performing in front of an audience or the fear of you know, just being by yourself and thinking, how am I going to write this song or, oh, you know, and then once you get past that, then you not only have you gotten past it, walked through the fear, you've also unconsciously built self-esteem as a person and relying on something, you know, greater than yourself to help you hold your hand, kind of walk through that fear.